num 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 yum num 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 yum num 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 yum num 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 yum yum What's up everyone and welcome to another food review. <laughs> so today I'm sad to announce that it is the last day of Hoagie Fest at Wawa. So Hoagies are only $6 right now. Last day is today. So I'm going to hit it up with one more Hoagie for the month. I tried their tripleta. I've tried their cumin which, cumin, which has been my favorite so far and today uh, I'm gonna try something different. Maybe buffalo chicken. Let's go with uh, a little spice today. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm headed to the gym, then Wawa, and yeah, let's go get those gains. Deuces! All right, guys, I got two sandwiches. I got the Italian and the uh, chicken cheesesteak buffalo. Oh, buffalo. Chicken cheesesteak. So I wonder which one's which. Let's see. All right. uh, they both smell like bread. <laughs> uh, buffalo. I didn't look at the names on the tag. Yep, there's the buffalo. Boom. I'm not gonna eat all of this right now. I'll save half and half. You know, it's the last day, so I'm splurging a little. Oh yeah, dang. This is a bad boy, look at this big one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Put that paper down, get out of here, paper. I got the two sandwiches in front of me. I'm splurging today because it is the last day of Hoagie Fest. Now, um, one of my IG followers, Melanie, I know you want me to do the meatball, and I was looking forward to doing the meatball, but they didn't have meatball, and they didn't have beef uh, cheesesteak either. There were very few options uh, as far as hot sandwiches, so they didn't have the Cuban, they didn't have the tripleta, none of the pork options, none of the beef options. I had to go straight up with a cold one and a hot one when the chicken was left. So let's get right into this. Let's do, I haven't eaten today, so let's leave the spicy one for a second. Let's do the uh, Italian first. Ooh, look at that. You know, it's got your standard, what, salami, ham. I did provolone cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. Um, well, you saw what I ordered. Uh, mayonnaise, vinegar, and oil. So let's do this, guys. Ooh, there we go. Ooh -wee. Let's get, get into that. <laughs> 
So that is good. Pretty dang good. But I didn't give it a ooh baby. <laughs> and my girlfriend was saying to me today, this morning, when you love the food, you give a ooh baby. <laughs> and this sandwich did not get a good ba ooh baby. This is a good sandwich, very good. But Publix has got this sandwich beat. Uh, the bread is pretty fresh here, but I prefer the Publix bread. And the the meat that they use at Publix is just better quality, guys. Oh. Mm. As far as size, I would say this is a good size sandwich for six bucks when it's Hoagie Fest, but Hoagie Fest is only this month. Whereas Publix does a rotation on their sales and their sandwiches and they'll roll around every few weeks. So, you know, Hoagie Fest will be gone and Publix will still have their sandwich uh, um, discounts. Well, I mean, it's really good though, but not Publix good. Mm. Um, Publix was definitely ooh baby worthy they're Italian I'm not knocking this this is a good sandwich mm. <laughs> no no <laughs> I'm laughing at something because my coworker Justin said that they never put black pepper when he orders it on his sandwiches and I definitely ordered it on mine. You can see the black pepper on this tomato. <laughs> so, you know, Justin, I don't know which uh, Wawa you're going to, but this one definitely does it. Anyways. Let's get into this uh, a buffalo chicken sandwich. It's got peppers, chicken, buffalo sauce, and uh, I forgot what cheese. Well, let's get into it. It's not like sizable like the Italian no veggies really, except the peppers. Just meat, sauce, cheese, and peppers. So let's go. There we go, look at that focus, ooh. inside look I'm almost done hmm. two more bites <laughs> I can get the review Okay. One more bite. <laughs> I said okay, but one more bite. Mmm, baby. 
<laughs> that gets a uh, baby. Why does this get an uh, baby? Or a uh, baby? So, one thing I like about this is that buffalo sauce that they use, it kind of soaks the bread, giving it a slight soggy uh, texture. And whereas the Italian sub was a lot, lot harder to chew, maybe if there was more like mayo or vinegar on this sandwich, it would have been better. But this gives it a nice softness with the crunch on the outside. So it's like two textures at once. And I really love that buffalo flavor. Um, it, it's, uh, you know, like pretty sure it might be Frank's Red Hot. I don't know. It's a good buffalo sauce. And it, it just goes really well with the chicken and the cheese and the peppers. Now, one thing I'm usually disappointed about with sandwiches is that or spicy sandwiches is that they're not spicy this is a good kick to it the jalapenos the buffalo sauce uh, oh it's pepper jack cheese that's the cheese I use this is good mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, baby. <laughs> so that's gonna be the new standard of uh, review reviews. If it doesn't get an ooh baby or ooh baby, it's not that great. Oh. Mm. I am so hungry right now. It's um, 7.05 p.m. and I didn't eat today except a banana. So, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna finish this all. But, oh. Oh, that meat. That's thick. <laughs> but Publix got your beat. Mm. Oh. That's the issue with this one. That bread. Giving me jaw fatigue. No, oh, a bit hard to chew. Oh. Mm. You know what? Something I've always realized about Italian subs is when you let the Italian sub sit a little. And let the flavors really just merge together. It just makes the sandwich taste so much better. And this one tastes even better than the first half. Mmm. Mmm. I would say an Italian sub is one of those sandwiches that next day I like even better mm. Mm. it's getting to that mm, baby level <laughs> ah. I don't remember if I said the calorie count in this video but if I did I would have put it earlier in the video you know the price was six dollars for each of these hoagie fest mmm last bite mmm mm -mm. 
Mm. <laughs> it got a. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> that should be the the next um, rating after the ooh baby. It goes. Mm, mm, mm. This is a lower level down. So I threw some of that lettuce in this sandwich. I didn't put any vegetables. Let's see if it's good. Mm. Yeah. Could do with or without veggies. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. Got my chocolate milk up in here. Can't see, I drank most of it. Just kidding, it's not chocolate milk. Well, technically it's chocolate, but it's not milk. It's um protein, chocolate protein. Or gains, vegan protein powder. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, I'm still hungry. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the last two sandwiches for Hoagie Fest that I'm doing from Wawa. I won't be hitting up Wawa for a while, unless they have another sale. Ooh, actually. Pardon me. <laughs> they do have a burger that I want to try, and people have been saying I should try the burger here. Mm, pardon me. So... I will be back, I'm sorry, but I don't know when to try their burger at Wawa. We'll save it for a day I don't really have anywhere to go. Oh crap, I should go to Shake Shack because uh, I get um, $10 credit at Shake Shack every month. Anyways, uh, time for Shake Shack, deuces. <laughs> deuces. Baby.